All right, welcome back to the final episode of season two of our show. Today is ham. We're going to show you how to get this spiced up and onto the cooker. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so today it's ham, and we're using the ham portion today instead of the pork butt portion, which is the shoulder, because I feel it's a lot juicier. Now, you can see this is covered with a lot of skin here. I'm just going to turn this around. This is 23 pounds, and there's a certain way you cook this. Now, we're not going over direct heat with this. We're going about 285 degrees, and we're going to cook this in an insulated cooker, and it's going to cook for about... 20 hours. That's how long this is going to cook at 23 pounds. So we're going to show you how to keep this piece of meat juicy, succulent, and just get a really nice piece of meat out of here. So the first thing we'll do is start with a little injection. So right here I have a little olive oil in here. I have white wine and pineapple juice. Right here I have my injector. So I'm just going to go in here and start injecting first. I'm just going to just inject all around. You'll actually see the, the ham start to rise. Now, I don't have this covered in skin completely. We shaved off some of the skin, so we have a good quarter of that skin off the piece of meat. So it's not completely covering it. So just get your injector in there and just let it do its thing. Nice thing about the hams and the pork butts is because if you did this with a pork butt, it'll all spill out the back because the, uh, the skin is keeping it protected. Most of the time I don't inject, but a big piece of meat like this, they get a little tough when they're that big. So we're gonna start injecting. Like I said, just go a lot of spots and just hit it. I'm even going to go all the way from the back. I'm trying not to pierce the skin because I don't want to do that. And I can feel it just injecting through the back here. And I'm going to use all my brine here. This is going to help get that flavor in and keep it tender. See, that's coming out, so that's a not a good spot. Let's go from the front. And you're going to go until it starts to come out. And when it starts to come out, just turn it and find another spot. But don't pierce that skin. So we're going to go from the back here. And I can hear it inside the roast starting to come out so I've got enough in there so I'm gonna leave it so now very simple we're gonna to start to spray down so we get a rub stick and we're gonna turn it over first now at this point you're gonna to want to switch pans so the pan that I have it in is not going in the cooker I'm going to use an aluminum pan to go inside the cooker and I'm going to spray it down real good. Now over here I have a rub, garlic powder, onion powder, a little cumin. That's about it. And paprika. I keep it real simple. This is a big roast, so you're going to have to put a lot of rub on here. And we're going to hit it with a whole lot of smoke for hours of smoke to really let that smoke do its job. This is where you need a lot of rub on pieces of meat this size because most people don't usually cook pieces of meat this size unless they got a whole lot of guests coming over. Alright, so I'm just going to get that in that nice portion here that's not covered with fat. All these flavors are just going to mix together in the pan. So now what I'll do is we're going to transfer it because we got that nice rub on there. We're going to transfer it to the pan. Now we 
oil this half already. And we're just gonna get our rub on there. You notice I didn't put any salt on here. I'm gonna salt this tomorrow before it goes out onto the cooker because this is gonna brine overnight. And I'm just gonna get all that in there. If I put the salt on here, it's gonna dry this out and suck up all the moisture. And I don't wanna do that. Because the way I'm cooking this, it's gonna be an insulated cooker and I wanna keep that moisture in. I wanna keep that meat nice and moist in there. And tomorrow, when this marinates, I'll soak it. And then out onto the cooker tomorrow night it goes. And I'm gonna cook it all night throughout the night. So tomorrow it's gonna sit in the fridge all day. And at nighttime, I'll put it on and let it cook throughout the night and take it off during the day. That's how you wanna cook a piece of meat like this for the hours that we're gonna put in. It's almost 24 hours going in this. So I started at night, so I take it off the next night. And that's it. I'm gonna spin this around. Get the last of my rub on there. So let this go overnight and out onto the cooker. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we're all seasoned up. Now, I left this part of the ham. I put very light seasoning on it and I hit this part hard. Main reason for it, this is all the skin part of it. And right here, I've got some skin on top of here, but I cut this thick skin back. So that little line that you see down here down the middle, that's the fat cap down there. And this is gonna have all that nice juicy ham in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke this for about 20 hours or so. I'm gonna test it and see where it's at. I'm gonna give it a temperature probe after about 18 hours and see where we're at. It's definitely gonna be on there for 18 hours. And then we're gonna see where we're at. Like I said, after it comes off of the smoker, this cap right here is gonna go under the broiler. So I can do two things. I can take my torch and I can fire this up right here, or I can just stick this under the broiler. And I think we're gonna stick it under the broiler because it's a lot easier to just go under a broiler with it. This way I get a nice even skin on the bottom here and make this nice and crispy. That's it, stick around. Don't go anywhere. Time to get this on. Now let's get this big boy on. That is a big boy. Takes up every bit of that room in that cooker. All right, I'm just gonna bin this in. This way you wanna use aluminum pants because if it don't fit, make it fit. That's it, I'm gonna close up, save my heat. We'll see you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, 20 hours in, let's see what we got. Let's get our light on, look at that. Ready to come out. Now I have this rest at 150 degrees. It's resting in about two hours now. And you can just hear that. Nice crispy skin. And we're gonna crisp it up some more in the oven after we take it off. We're gonna go inside and crisp it up. We'll meet you right back here. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, we're at the end of season two's final chopping block. Let's show you what we got. Look at that, beautiful. Now, I want you to hear that. It's crispy, but it's not crispy enough. Now this is down a pulled pork. We pulled this at 190 degrees, which it's not pullable, it's cuttable. So we're making sliced pork today. And I'm just gonna show you this fat cap. So the first thing we'll do is get this beautiful fat cap off of here. I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can get a good look at this. I'm gonna show you this fat cap coming off of here. Look at that. Pulls right out of here with the bone. All in one shot. So what I'll do is I'll get this off to the side because we're gonna to toast this up. We're gonna finish making it crispy. You hear that? But if I try to break it now, it's really not gonna break. So we're gonna put this, let me put this over to the side and we're gonna put this 
into our broiler and give that nice and crisp up. Now let's take all of our bones. We're going to put this in a big serving plate so we can take our bone and put that in there. Ooh, she's hot. I'm going to just show you how this comes apart. If you guys are making pulled pork and you never had it this way, you're in for a treat. So what we'll do from here is we're just going to start to slice. So I'm going to get a couple of slices out of here. See, I can pull this part here. And I can also slice it. So I can pull and slice, pull and slice. So look at these nice pieces coming out of here. It's all tender. And you just keep cutting them, putting them in here. So you can pull it and get some juice in there. And keep cutting it. So I'm just going to start slicing nice pieces. And just slice it. Look at that. It's like butter. If you're not doing your hams this way, you got to start that. And there's practically no waste at all. We're not letting the skin go to waste, so I could say zero waste. And just get it off to the side. And the juice. I'm going to show you this bone in here. Now this bone, it's coming up very easy. There's some fat here. I'm going to take that too. And you can just pretty much, I mean this thing was 22 pounds. You can pretty much just keep slicing. And you got beautiful sliced pork. The only difference is that when you go 205 degrees, now you got pulled pork. See? I like the slices because it's tender. Everybody can get a piece. And it's not pulled. Just go down with it. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I got an aluminum tray under here, so I'm really not trying to cut the bottom. And there's some pieces here on the bottom that are like pulled pork. So you can make nice sandwiches out of here. We're going to show you a few more videos after this of what to do with all this meat. So this way, if you do cook something like this, you'll get a few meals off of it. And I'm going to give you a few ideas of what to do with your leftover meat. Including some ideas for the game. Alright, so we're going to get the slice in this. Before I do that, I'm going to pull this bone out of here just to show you how easy that bone comes out. Look at that. It's hot. Whew. And I'm going to slice the meat off of that. So like I said, it's 190 degrees. It's right before you pull it, pull pork. And it's, it's fabulous. So that's what you want. All right, I'm going to get the slice in on here. And I'll meet you back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so we got this nice piece of meat all nice and situated and sliced up. Take a look at these bones that came out of that. Look at that, right off the bone. That's what 190 does for you. So pulled at the perfect temperature, you'll get the perfect slice or the perfect pull if you go too far with it. I've got some juice here from this. This is everything that this thing yielded. I mean, that's a lot of juice and you could either serve it, I usually dump a little bit over top, just like this. Just to keep that meat moist. So go over top of it just like that. Can't lose. Keep it moist. I'm going to go over top of this just a little bit there. And you have more for serving for dinner. So save your juice. Make sure you have a big enough vessel just to keep all that nice moisture in there. Now I skimmed all the fat off the top of that, so this way it's not fatty. Just juice. Now this piece of fat right here, we're going to crisp this up in the broiler. And we're going to put this onto this piece of meat right before serving. So right before serving, it gets crisp up. 
and it just gets put on here just like that and just lay it on the top of there this way you could take it off get your crackling out of here and serve so we're going to show you how to do that in just a second here stick around don't go anywhere all right so we got our skin up underneath the broiler now and it's on 400 right now i don't have this on high if you have a broiler and it's not adjustable you can actually just use the adjustments of your trays here just put them down lower so i got this pretty close to the fire underneath the broiler here at 400 degrees and we're going to slowly crisp this up i don't want to get it with too much heat because i want it to crisp up right and then you can see it you can see it sucking down all right we're going to finish crisping this up and we're going to meet you right back here stick around don't go anywhere we're about six minutes in at 400 and this is what we're getting you can see all those nice little bubbles starting to form in there and you see how much it shrunk down all the moisture has been drawn out of it and it's just turning into crackling and that's what you're looking for so we're going to finish crisping this up and we'll meet you back here stick around don't go anywhere all right our crackling's out of the broiler let's show you what she looks like and there it is and look how much that shrunk down you can hear it so always a good thing to do with the skin so we're going to plate this up and show you what this looks like on a plate first thing we'll do is get ourselves some crackling so we're going to crack into that Get a nice couple of those crispy crackling parts in there. Look at that. Beautiful. It's even a little fat in the middle of there. We'll get this off to the side. Now, my family, we fight for these parts. Put that there. And look at this part. It even has the bones still in it. So we'll get that there, and let's get to some meat on the plate. Now I'm gonna get a couple of these pieces of sliced pork on here. And we're just gonna mix it up with some sliced. Some sliced, and just a little pulled. Nice part about doing it this way you have the best of both worlds. So you got a little bit pulled from the most tender parts. And you'll have the sliced from the thicker parts. And I just even up the meat. This way it's even. All right. So over here, we made a little rice. We're gonna leave a link in the description to this video, this way you can see this olive rice being made. It's a nice, simple olive rice. I'm going to plate up with that rice. It's got some carrots in there, olives, of course, and a few herbs. So let's get that there. And we have a chickpea salad. And we're gonna leave a link as well to this salad so you can see it being made. Got some pepper, bill peppers in here. Very simple salad. All right, so now we're just gonna in the middle of there. We're going to get some of our gravy on here. Now this gravy came out of the pork. I didn't have to touch this at all. And I skimmed it, took the fat off the top, and that's it for the top here. Put that on. We're going to put our nice cracklings onto the top of here. So this way you got some nice pork cracklings right on there. And that's it. That's our plate. 
Let's spin this around so you can take a look at it. All right, we're gonna get situated here. We're gonna meet you right back here. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is, 20 hours worth of smoked ham. What a beautiful olive rice, chickpea salad. We're gonna leave links in the description to that rice and that salad as well. This way you get to enjoy that as well. Thank you, we enjoyed having you. With no further ado, gotta get that little uh, pet master taste there.